Hi guys! In this video we're going to look at how we can avoid getting into a mess like this with the Unity Animator. When we first start setting up animations it's nice and simple. We might have transitions between idle and walking. Then we add more such as jumping, falling and landing. As we add more capabilities to our player we have to add more animations and transitions. And before we know it, we can easily end up with a big spider web of transitions that's really difficult to organise and manage. Fortunately, Unity provides an alternative. Instead of configuring the transitions in the animator, we can use the crossfade in fixed time method to transition from one animation to another within our scripts. Let's have a look at an example. We'll go back to the really simple animator. There's a transition from idle to walking if the is walking parameter is set to true. And there's a transition back if the parameter is set to false. We have this script attached to the character. It keeps track of whether we're in the idle or walking state based on player input and it sets the animator parameter accordingly. Now we're going to change this to make use of the crossfade in fixed time method. Instead of setting the parameter to true, we'll crossfade to the walking animator state. We need to give it the name of the state. We can also provide the transition time. We'll set this to 0.2 seconds. Then we'll do the same for transitioning back to idle. And that's it. Now we can go back to Unity and delete the transitions in the animator. Let's press play to make sure it still works. The animations still change based on the player input. We can apply this same technique for the more complicated animator to get away from the confusing mess of transitions. We need to keep track of the state of the player in our scripts anyway, so it's easy to manage the animation states at the same time. The downside is that we lose the visual features of the animator, where we could see what animation led to what, and we could preview the transitions. Overall though, we find managing animations in scripts much easier. We'd really like to know what you think of this method. Let us know in the comments if you like it or not, or if you know any other tricks for keeping on top of animation states. A big thank you to all our patrons, we really appreciate you helping to support the channel. If you'd like to help and also get access to the source code, you can find details in the description. Thanks guys!